everyone and welcome back. I know, I usually don't address the camera, so count yourselves maybe a little bit unlucky on this one. Just wanted to say a heartfelt thank you to all the subscribers and comments. Uh, keep those comments coming. I really, really enjoy them and appreciate when you take the time and the extra effort to do that. It really means a lot to me. The next couple of weeks, I'm going to try to be working on some things for an art show that I'll be doing in the first weekend of April, and that'll be about 85 miles south of Bloomington in a little city called Elnora. And I'll be taking the double cab bus on that trip. You'll get to take that with me, I hope. That's my plan anyway. And that's my display piece, and I'll be setting that up. So you'll get to see some of that. Won't do a probably a whole lot of Volkswagen videos between now and then, because I'm going to be in maker mode, as I call it. You can see the shoe lamp, shoe form lamp, that is down there, and then the little fan lamp here. You'll be seeing a video on both of those. And, of course, you've seen the two Volkswagen lights and the fork in the roll if you've watched the channel if you've subscribed to the channel if you haven't i'll try to remember to put a link up above and you can click that and watch those uh if not you don't want to subscribe just keep coming back and checking it out if you would i'd really appreciate it and again we're working on lamp mode so hopefully i can come up with something fun and creative for the next couple of weeks i think i can i have plenty of projects to work on so if you're into that kind of thing stay tuned we're going to get right into it we're going to go out to the shop today and start in on some things. And I'm gonna try welding uh, a cast piece. So I've tried it once before and it didn't go real well. We're gonna try preheating that today and then slow cooling it rather than just letting it cool in the air. And I think that might be the issue. So let's go check it out and see what we can do. So when I am in full maker mode and uh, I'm there, one of the things that people always ask is, how big is your space? So while I'm here, and you can see the countertops are completely covered with projects and things I've been doing. I'm just going to pan the room here. You can see I have my bicycles hanging up. That back countertop there. And then uh, this side, I'll just go all the way around. Try and not make you dizzy. And then this is my kind of my lamp maker station back here cabinetry with all of the uh, drawers in it uh, and then back to here you can see this table how cluttered that is but this is the space I work in this is the the clean space if you will and uh, I do try to keep the countertops clean so that's one of the things we're gonna start with today but let's walk out to the shop and I want to show you one of the things I'm gonna be welding grab my coffee We have this tiny little house and we've converted the basement to uh, a space that's usable and having a toddler does not help things sometimes and there's a rock tumbler running out here so let me get out there and shut that off you can come out there with me this is the garage space that i referenced earlier and let's get that rock tumbler shut off shall we don't think i want to listen to that all day Ah, that's better. So I'll pan in here as well. And this place is kind of a disaster too. So probably one of the things I'm going to have to start with is kind of cleaning this up. It's a space I work in. Pretty tiny space. It's a one car garage space. I do have things kind of organized somewhat. Um, we had a sump pump go out. So we've got that mess in here. You know, it's just life. It's just the way it is. And again, having a toddler, having so many projects going on all the time, it kind of makes it difficult. But this space that I'm working in, let me back out of your way here, is approximately 6 by 12 is my actual footprint space. The garage itself is a little bit bigger than that. But everything's kind of hoarded in here the best I can, and then we have the big carport space out, outside. But uh, let's get started on uh, that cast project I mentioned. So this is one of those, uh, it's a Dover sad iron. And you can see I welded to it before just kind of experimenting with it. And um, I let it just air cool. I, I did preheat it and I just let it air cool and I banged on it really hard with a hammer. It held together fine. And then my son knocked it off a shelf with the top piece welded to it. That top piece is this piece right here. So I have a lot of weight kind of hanging off of that. As you can see, it's a buggy spring off of an old buggy seat. And it was wired into a lamp. And, I, you know, I'm pretty sure it was good. <laughs> I 
I always tell people when they buy something from me, uh, if it has survived this long, you're pretty good in no pretty secure in knowing that uh, if it survived a three-year-old, now four-year-old, uh, it's probably not going to fall apart. But that is what it should be. And then there is a long skinny bulb that goes right here in the middle. So why don't we try grinding this down again, preheating the iron. I'm going to go up to the kiddo's uh, sandbox and grab some sand and put it in a bucket. And we'll just let that cool and see if we can slow cool that to the point that it won't fall apart. And I really truly think it would have been fine uh, had it not hit. But I'm actually kind of glad it happened because now we know. But that is what that one is going to look like. So and we're going to grind that. I'm not going to bore you with watching that. Grind that down, re-weld it, put it in a thing of sand, and we'll just let it cool. I'll just let it sit there till it's cold. I'll probably take it out uh, tomorrow, not even worry about it from there. Uh, so let me get that done. We'll put that in sand, and we'll get started on the next thing. So it has started pouring rain on us, and we are just not catching a break this year in weather. I have this set up, I think, where everything's pretty well level, and it looks good and straight, as straight as I'm probably going to get it. So I'm going to call that good. We're going to heat the iron itself up to about three to or four to five hundred degrees, I think. We're on Celsius. We're on Celsius. There's Fahrenheit. Sixty-five is what it's reading now. So let's see if we can't get that up uh, pretty hot, and sh let's see if we can't shoot our mag our magnets off of there. But uh, let's get that heated up, and then we'll tack a couple welds on it. And then I brought in some sand, some play sand. I didn't want to use anything that was uh, potentially uh, exploding rock or anything like that. So I just got play sand. There's no moisture in it. Even though it is pouring rain, I managed to get it without getting it wet. So, what do you say we give that a try? It's not coming through, but my stool is smoking in the shape of an iron. We have that all packed in our cardboard box here. So... Y'all know where that's going to go, right? That's going to catch on fire. I hope not, but I didn't put it in plastic because I didn't want to ruin a plastic tote. So I just basically had some dumped over here in the lid, put that in there, and then turned the lid, dumped the rest of it on there, took the trowel, and packed it in around the iron, and we'll see what happens. We may not be able to weld that piece, and if we can't, we'll find a different base for that lamp because I really like the shape of it. But for now, we're just going to let that cool. All right, so we've had that sitting in its sand bath for a little while, enough to where it's cooled down regular temperature. I am not hopeful that this has worked. The part of welding that I rely very heavily on is your sound, and it just didn't sound right. It wouldn't surprise me if I go to pull it out and the iron breaks off. So let me get you set up and let's see what happens. We'll pull it out of there at least, and then uh, we'll bang it a little bit with a hammer, and we'll see we'll see what we get. So let's pull it out of there kind of slow. And again, we're lifting a little bit of weight with the sand, so I may just pull it right off. No, just gonna brush and brush some of that off of there. This didn't sound right. It didn't it didn't really look like it was doing. A good weld. Let's take it over here and see what we have. I hope it works though, because that looks cool. Especially with that long skinny bulb running up the middle. Let's get a wire wheel in there, kind of bang on it a little bit, and see what we got. I can see one hole already that I blew through on the spring that I didn't notice until just now. I need to go repair that. Although if it's good, I may just leave it alone. It's leaning a little, maybe.
Get it? No way. I'm hitting that pretty hard. What do you think? Looks like crap. But I think it might have actually got a bite in a couple spots. It is a little bit crooked. That's going to eat at me. Not too bad. Get a bulb in it. I can probably fix most of that. Yeah, let's get that cleaned up and wire it up. Maybe get a grinder in and just take off a few of these little nasty spots here. Little boogers that are on there. I cannot believe that worked. Yeah, it definitely got a bite right there. I can see. It's really tinned up well right there. Get a grinder on these edges and kind of remove some of these boogers. I hate a weld that looks like that. <laughs> but... At this point, I just have to take it as it is. At least it held, which is uh, pretty good. Should I try and fix that hole? That burnout? It's probably just going to blow up in my face if I do, huh? Not literally. I mean, just ruin the project. Yeah, let me go ahead and clean this up. And uh, I'll turn you back on when we're ready to wire it. And I'll let you see what that's going to look like. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Like I said, my son. I've had it lit before so I know what it looks like but it's a cool lamp let's get that one finished up I brought it in and it looks much straighter inside so I think it was just the stool and I oiled everything up nice and pretty like so let's get that socket in and get the bulb in and plug it in Oh, there it is. I think that looks pretty good. Let me roll back far enough here where you can kind of see it. Got to get this camera fixed. I've been saying that for how long now? <laughs> that looks okay. That looks good. Good and straight. Kind of looks like a jack in the pulpit or a lotus or something. I don't know. Looks kind of cool. I like it. Now the one thing I need to do is change out the... I can't stand how this knob and of course you can't see it there we go that knob is not vintage looking find a key or something where we can trade that out maybe let's look in the pile and see what we can find a couple different bins here of just odds and ends of things i don't know that this this box here is probably going to be more of stuff. Look at that little guy. More of stuff that I probably won't use as a handle. But yeah, I'm not seeing anything in that pile, so let's put that back in. This box might hold some promise, though. I was thinking something like, you know, a little might be a candidate. Probably just epoxy it on. I was gonna thread it, but that hole's probably too big on the end. That one's kind of cool too. That's kind of neat. Yeah, let me dig through here and see what I can come up with. Couldn't really find anything that was uh, super cool. So I took the one that was on it and just Used a tap and die set, figured out what this thread was. I found this kind of interesting little plastic piece in the hoard. And then I just shaved off kind of the edges around what was originally there, threaded it. And so now it actually threads onto this piece here. I just think that's a little more interesting. I'm actually going to take a little bit of rub and buff uh, antiquing. We'll see if we can't kind of bring out some of those edges and make it look like it is metal. Let's see what I can do. So if you've never used this before, this is what I'm using. Rub and buff. And this one is... can't read it anymore. Antique gold. It's 
basically a paste that you just kind of put on your finger. And I am actually going to wipe some of that off on a piece of paper. Get too much on there, it doesn't look right. I'm just going to kind of hit the edges of this and see if we can't make it look a little bit like a piece of metal. That looks pretty good, don't you think? I think so. All right, let's put that on there and see what we get. Watch it thread back on there now. Mess with it. Probably should have let that dry. like that looks pretty good I think yeah I like that all right that one's done here's a little closer detail of kind of what that turned out like I'm liking that I don't know what that little piece is, have no idea. Just in junk I have. I like it. Here's what that one kind of looks like. Sitting on sitting on top of the fireplace. The faux fireplace. Can't really capture. That bulb is really hard to get the kind of the ambiance that it casts off. I really like how the iron is shaped kind of the same way, just this way, and the buggy seat screen goes this way. I like that. They're the same shape. Yeah, it's good. I'm happy with that. It turned out nice. Hopefully someone thinks it's as neat as I do. Yeah, it's good. Alright, thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Like I said, we're going to be in lamp maker mode for a few more videos. and It might be boring to some of you, but maybe a few of you will recognize some of the piece parts I'm using to make some of these things. So, Thanks for hanging out with me, and weather's starting to warm up, so we'll be able to get back out to the Volkswagen stuff and get some real projects done.